Welcome to my Thursday evening Facebook Live. My name is Ed Cardinal and as you can see I am in a different location. I was down, uh, we were down in uh, Sanaba Island from the beginning of March until yesterday actually and we are currently now um, at Jude's, my wife's sister's in New Jersey and we're heading off to a wedding on Long Island this weekend and then we fly out to northern Arizona to be there for a couple weeks to see if that might be a fit for us for relocation. So feeling a little bit like a like a gypsy. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So that is the topic I chose for for this evening. And seems like uh, a lot of people are struggling. Um, and the people I talk to, people I know, uh, and rightly so, we've been living in a very challenging time. And uh, mental health conditions are uh, any conditions that impact mood, thinking, and behavior. Some of the challenges I've seen people struggle with, uh, number one is anxiety, uh, number two is, is depression. And some of the causes of anxiety are uh, stress, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, medical conditions. So just those three in the last couple years are a major reason why people are feeling very, very anxious. And they actually say that 40 million people in the U.S. Uh, struggle with, with anxiety. Some of the symptoms are increased heart rate, social withdrawal, and insomnia. insomnia. Those are just three, there's, there's, there's many more. And as far as depression, it's uh, low mood, uh, low self-esteem, and losing interest in things that are, are normally enjoyable to you. Um, so what are, the, what are the treatment options? Well, there's, there's therapy, that, that's a big one, a really, really important medication. And there's also uh, alternative or, or more complementary uh, methods. And if you go back to many of my previous Facebook Lives, a lot of what I talked about, a lot of those topics are going to be ways, that, uh, healthy ways that you can deal with anxiety and depression. Good nutrition, staying away from sugar, Exercise is a huge one. That's that's really helpful for anxiety and, and depression. Also, making sure that you get a, a, a good night's sleep. They say that 50% of people with mental health challenges do not seek help, and the main cause of that is stigma. People are uh, afraid what others are going to think. Um, you feel that there's something wrong with you or you're crazy if you have to see a therapist. I can tell you firsthand that's, that's not the case and, and I'll tell you a little bit of, of my story uh, in a few minutes. So what's really important is when someone recognizes the symptoms and seek help early, they recover completely, experience fewer complications, and live longer. Those who don't in the live longer piece I believe has to do with medical conditions that are a result of anxiety and depression but also suicide. They say that 90 percent of Americans who die from suicide have experienced symptoms of treatable mental health challenges. So if those people got help they might be with us today. So for me, when I was 26 years old, I decided to quit drinking because it was a problem for me. And at that point, I took a journey of self-discovery uh, and personal development. And I found a great therapist. And I worked with her for, for 10 years to look at some of my family, unhealthy family patterns, unhealthy patterns in myself. It's, it's important to get a different view, uh, particularly someone who's a trained professional who can help you sort through things, help you come up with some coping strategy, 
coping mechanisms. Uh, it's one of the best things I, I decisions I ever made in my life was to to seek help to to become a better person. And again, please don't wait in, until you have major health challenges or you're thinking about taking your own life. Just have the courage to reach out even to friends and family, anyone to talk to, but it's also important, I feel, to talk to someone who's a trained professional. Like I said, they, they're trained to help people, like my therapist was with me, to, to work through some of the challenges I was dealing with. So I hope, I hope this is helpful. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an important topic, a lot of people struggling, and um, you know, hopefully people will start getting some help and not wait too long. If you did find it helpful and found value, please like below. And looking forward to seeing you uh, next week, uh, Tuesday night, my 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my book, uh, my book review three lessons I learned from a personal development book, and then next Thursday night for uh, my other uh, Thursday night live. Have a great evening, and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.